Hey everyone, this is Benjamin here from the African Week and you are welcome to this fantastic tutorial inside of Canva. Today, we are going to be designing what you see on our screen today and actually, we are going to be doing this from scratch. So if this is something you are interested in, stay tuned and I will be right back after the intro. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do is to click on create a design and after we do that, the next thing we are going to do is to select the dimension 1080 by 1350. So you just have to select custom size and um, just choose 1080 by 1350. Okay, so once we do that, this is what we are going to see. You see a blank canvas and um, everything should be loaded before you start designing. So the first thing we are going to do is to change the color of our background. Instead of white, we are going to use um a very interesting blue which is 3a6aa3 okay so that's the color code for the D, for the color we are going to use so after you do that you come to upload and all the elements i'm going to be using in this design can be found in the link in the description box below okay so you'd be led into a google drive um folder where you find all of these things so i will choose my first orange juice okay and um, after i do that i just crop it and i just need half of it you understand so then i increase the size more after i do that the second thing i'm going to do is to choose the orange peel you know the orange peel okay so we you know just come to flip and we flip it vertically okay so that we can arrange it this way you understand so it's just you placing it right on top nothing really difficult at the moment so after you do that you select both of them then you can reduce the size a little bit and also what we can do next is to move this up a little bit and we should be able to rotate it so i rotate my okay slightly so 27 degrees and um, that's what you can also do for it but if you want your your um, rotation to be intense you can increase it um, you can rotate it more okay so after we do that what i'm going to do is i would add this water um you know element i have over here okay then i rotate it in a way that you know um covers the split the splitted edge of our image so after i do that i increase the size of the water okay and i position it here so that you know the bottom part just to be you know the part which is under the water the submerged part okay so once we have it we can do so many things so we can even flip this one okay we can flip it um horizontally okay so depending on how you want your design to look that's how you are going to be doing stuff okay so i flip this okay like this and i bring this one somewhere here okay and i flip it small so that the orange part okay the orange peel of it will just be out so you can see this is what I have at the moment and I'll increase the size more okay so now this is what we have at the moment and what I'm going to do next is you know we have this other two water splashes so we are going to be decorating them nicely okay so I click on the first one okay and with this you have to you have to you really have to be creative you know with this um, procedures we are doing so I would you know bring this one here and I would rotate it okay so i rotate it to 63 okay then bring it somewhere here and i'll crop the bottom part of it you understand then i send it backward okay so i send behind the um, bottle then i duplicate it okay then i flip it okay so i just hope you are sticking with me <laughs> yeah this is just a very simple process just that you just need a little bit of technicalities and stuff like that okay so after i flipped it i took it behind the main water splash okay so that's what i just did then what we are going to do now is we are going to add these um orange juices over here so you can see what i have i rotate this one this way and i reduce it okay so just reduce the size more and i can send this one behind everything okay so i send it behind everything i can duplicate it and bring it you know somewhere here and i can also flip it so i'll flip it horizontally 
and vertically okay so that everything is in between the same and i reduce the size a little bit and i send it to the back as well okay then we have this full size orange we reduce the size of this orange okay and i would also reduce the size of it and maybe position this one here and we flip it okay so i just flip it vertically okay so with that being said we would add some of the water splash at the bottom here so that it just doesn't look like you know we are just using one thing so i think we've used this one enough we would select the other one okay and i would flip it vertically okay then i can crop it okay so once i do that i would position this one here and i would make it go behind the main water splash and i can also increase the size and to make it very interesting i would reduce the transparency of this to something like 60 69 okay so now that i do that i come back to this one and i can crop you know this part out and also rotate it okay so you can see what we are trying to do we are just trying to be creative so let me zoom in more and i can bring this one here okay and send it to the back then you can also reduce the transparency of this slightly okay then we add you know we add it again and i would also flip this vertically okay so you can see as we basically just trying to be creative with all of these things okay so and i position this here okay because it can't really be seen so you can see what we are doing at the moment okay so i would select what's behind by pressing ctrl and clicking multiple times until you get what's behind okay then you adjust it more so just make sure you are adjusting everything in a way that um all elements can be seen so i'll speed up this whole process of me trying to adjust um things so that um after i come back i will just show you what i did okay Right, so you can see what I have been able to do. I just had to um, put some of the water splashes behind, some in front, and just do you know a little bit of tweaks. So that's um, the only simple thing you need to do. So now what we are going to do is with this bottle. Okay, so I hold Control and I click multiple times until I get the bottle. Like you can see, then I duplicate it. Okay, so after I do that, I bring it down a little bit, you know, this way. Then we come to Edit Image so after you click on edit image you come to um dual tone okay so you have to click down a bit if your dual tone isn't connected to your canva you just have to scroll down you know you see dual tone and connect it to canva it's a, it, it takes just a number of clicks okay so we come to dual tone okay so in dual tone what we do is you can choose any of the effects we have over here okay so when you click on it for the first time okay it will apply the effect okay but we don't stop there we click on it again so that we come into the editing part of it okay so with the highlight select the color over here and just choose black for the highlights okay then you come to the shadows also then you can also choose black for the shadow so you should have um something that looks like a silhouette okay then you click on apply so after we do this what we are going to do is we are going to send you know um the dark bottle okay you're going to send it to the back okay so when you send it to the back keep dropping it down okay so keep dropping it down and then you can see that this is where things get a bit technical and at this point you need to use shortcuts okay so press shift not shift but press control on your keyboard and keep clicking until you get to the bottle okay Okay, so I'm on the bottom right now and I use my arrow keys to drop it down a little bit. Okay, then I crop this portion out. Okay, so this is what we have. Then we come to edit image again. Okay, and this time around we'll go into adjust. In adjust, we are going to increase the blurriness of the bottle. Okay, so I increase mine to somewhere like 
20 or I can move it to 35. Okay, then what I do is I come to transparency and I reduce the transparency of my bottle so that it becomes more of um, a shadow because at the end of the day, we want you know, our design to still look real. Okay, so this is what I have at the moment. And I think one thing I um, I want to do is I will choose this. Okay, okay, then I put this splash over here and I just send it back. Okay, so that it looks like there's a lot of splash um, actually going on. Okay, so now that we have this, what we are going to do next is we are going to add a shadow. Okay, so I would scroll down into my applet and you still find the shadow in the description box below. Okay, so you would also find it down there. All right, so I had to scroll down a lot of times and this is the shadow I was talking about. Okay, so I select the shadow and um, I add it to my design. So you can see my shadow is being added. And at this point, oh, oh my goodness, I didn't choose that. Of course, that was not a shadow. Okay, so I have my shadow selected and I also rotate my shadow, okay, to match the design. So not the entire design, but just the bottle. The shadows to match the bottle. Okay, so 61. And um, we come to edit again. Okay, so in edit, we move into dual tone. Okay, okay, so in dual tone, what we do is we are going to do the opposite of what we did to the bottle. Okay, so you can just choose any of them and change the color to white. Okay, so we do that for both the highlight and the shadow. So that's what I'm going to do here. Okay, and you can see it's um, it's looking odd and weird, very weird right now. But the thing is, just leave it. One canvas loads, everything would um, look back to normal. So now that this is looking this way, we'll just leave it like this for now and just focus on the other things we want to do. Okay, so you can see it's loaded now so to make sure we don't mess things up you actually have to give canvas some time to um to save your design because and um, when you add this effect to it and you don't take your time the effect you add gets to be reset so you have to just do everything over and over and over again okay so i think yeah with the talking at least i've been able to give canvas some time so i stretch this shadow out okay then i right click and send it to the back Okay, so this is what we have at the moment. Then I come to transparency. Then I reduce the transparency of this to something like 47. This is 43. Okay, then I can duplicate. Okay, I think let me just click. Duplicate. Okay, move it to the side a little bit. Right click. Send it to the back. Okay. And um, I'll just do it one more time. Move it here a little bit. Right click and send it to the back. So you can see what we have at the moment but we are not done it's still looking very bright so we select all three of them minus the water splash okay come to transparency and we will reduce it more okay so 14 looks like the best okay so after we've done that what we are going to do next is we will click on t on our keyboard for text okay because we have to add some text and the only thing we are going to say is 100 percent okay fruit or orange juice and um, if let's say you decided to go your own path and you're using maybe an orange sorry an apple or a pineapple you can see pineapple juice any type of juice just make sure you you are just indicating the type of juice um it is okay or which fruit it is okay so i add my text and i make it italic then i change the color to white okay Okay, so you can see it's looking a bit odd right now. I move it here, okay, and I will rotate it slightly. Okay, so after I rotate it slightly, I'm going to send it to the back first of all. Then I will increase the size more to make it extra visible. Then we come to effect. In effect, we we'll click on shadows. In shadows, what we are going to do is we change the color to black. Okay, then you increase the blurriness. And if you want your shadow to be more visible, you can just increase the offset. Okay. The offset tells how close or how far your shadow should be to the um, to the text. Okay. And you can also increase or reduce the transparency. Okay. But I'll leave mine around 43 and I'll increase the and I'll increase the blurriness. Okay. So that's what we have at the moment. Let me just increase it more. 
I think I would also want to reduce the line spacing okay, to make it tight. Okay, so this is what we have at the moment. I select everything and move it a little bit to the right. Okay, so let me increase this more. Canva is saying I should check my connection. I don't know. I think Canva is suffering right now. Okay, so this is what I have at the moment, and I can choose to add some dummy text over here. So I can press T on my keyboard. I will change this text to the regular Montserrat. Okay, then I can add my dummy text. So um, okay, so I have some dummy text over here. I reduce the size of it and you know change the alignment, reduce it more, and just move it here to the bottom. Okay, so then I reduce the line spacing of it, then I change the color to white. Okay, then let's reduce it more. Okay, so this can be somewhere here, and I believe it's looking very cool at the moment. So what we can even do now is you know depending on how your design is looking with some of the once we, we you know we reduce the transparency you can you know adjust it to how you want it but this is what i have and i think this is looking very very clean to me so the name is benjamin and let me know in the comment section if you enjoyed this tutorial and if you're looking for more tutorials like this one remember if you also want to um, have more Canva tutorials, more of my upcoming Canva tutorials, then you can also hit on the subscribe button and hit on the bell icon next to it. My name is Benjamin. Always remember, there is no limit to creativity. I will see you in my next video.